Okay, pen friends, this is our last pen in the series of inexpensive demonstrator fountain pens. Demonstrator fountain pens under $20 or $20 or under that let you show off your inks. Um, I saved this one for last because this pen is a bit different than the others. Um, for one thing, it's the first pen that comes uh, with some accessories, which we'll get to. It is a Moonman Wan Kai. Uh, I attempted to figure out uh, using some online resources. This is the Wan Kai. I think it means pill sized or something like that. Um, pill shaped or something like that, which makes sense because it's a little pill shaped pen. Uh, it's not out of focus. This box is frosted. So this is um, a pen that can apparently use uh, standard, if I can get them out, international ink cartridges comes with a whole bunch of black ones and we all know how much us pen enthusiasts love our ink cartridges but anyways uh, this is the pen itself and it also includes an eyedropper because the pen is eyedropperable how about that so before we get into the inking I just want to give you a sense of how tiny this pen is here's some other pens that you might be familiar with here is a Coveco Sport here is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim and here is a Pelican M205. So as you can see, it's uh, it's small relative to all of those. However, the Wang Kai is designed to post securely by threading the cap onto the barrel. And then at that point, it's playing in the same league as these pens when they are posted. None of these pens is very usable for me unposted. Uh, they are all usable for me when posted. Um, the Moonman is still the shortest, uh, as I think you can see here. Um, actually, let's line them up like this. It's still the shortest. But I have to say that for me, um, it's 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 just long enough to be usable. And I have uh, hands on the larger size. The other thing you might notice uh, is that it's the girthiest of all of these. Um, the section's not particularly huge, but the section is girthier than any of these. And then the pen body is definitely girthier. So it has a feeling of holding... Um, Kind of a chunky little pen, but not in a way that's um, unpleasant uh, or annoying. The nib is a number five size nib, um, and it's actually really nicely engraved. And it says it's Moonman super quality, so you know it's got to be good because it's super quality. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to eyedropper it. It comes with it definitely very tight, which is good, and O-ring already uh, on the section. So we're just going to put some ink in this little barrel. I thought I would, um, someone sent me this uh, sample of a Ferris wheel press. I think this is called Lady Rose. I'll check myself and add a note if I'm wrong. And it's a, it's a very small sample. So we're just going to pour the whole thing right in. We're not even going to bother using the eyedropper. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, volumes are hard to eyeball. So it is actually a little bit more than this bottle. Uh, the bottle is a little bit more than the pen will hold comfortably. So I'll pour some of that back in. And maybe next time I'll use the eyedropper. This is fun. Are you enjoying watching me make this big mess? I know I'm enjoying it. Okay. So Lady Rose is kind of a, a dusky pinkish brown, I guess you could call it. Brownish pink. Um, and we're going to see how this little little guy writes. But first, as we've been trying to do, let's, let's admire. Um, lots of good ink slosh. Uh, really enjoyable to look at. Um, very compact, obviously. Okay, let's see what this nib is like. Again, like all of these, no tuning has been done. This one didn't feel oily or anything, so I haven't flushed it. Um, we're going to have to give it a moment to get down into the nib because uh, obviously we didn't draw the ink up through the nib. So we'll just give it the old shakety shake here. Okay, so how about the writing experience? So. Let's do this again. Oh, yeah, now it's better. Okay. I probably just didn't wait long enough. Yeah, so it's uh, it's totally acceptable. It's uh, not an exciting writing experience. Um, this nib, number five nib, is really hard. Um, it doesn't have any bounce to it. Um, you know, that gold-plated steel, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's one of the stiffer number five nibs 
uh, I've written with. Certainly compared to something, and I know this is like not a fair comparison from price points, but like uh, I keep pulling out this, uh, this is this uh, Visconti um, Van Gogh. Well, I think I've let it dry out a little bit, but see how that nib just kind of opens up a bit. That nib definitely has a bit more flex to it. So I think this pen, I think we'll just, when we do the wrap up, we'll find that it has a, it has obviously a unique place in our lineup. Um, it does show off the ink really well. Like the barrel is very simple. It's a little cylinder. Um, so, I mean, that's a big, that's kind of a big plus. Like if you want a little thing to show off your ink, uh, this does it quite nicely. Um, bonus points if you can also fill the cap with ink. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so that's it. That is the end of the series. Uh, well, it's not the end of the series. It's the last pen. And then I'm going to do a wrap-up video. Uh, it'll be a little longer. We'll go back over, and I'm going to declare winners in a few categories. So I thank you for watching. If you've watched all of these, you're a hero. Um, and if you've watched a few of them, you're still awesome. So I will see you for the wrap-up next time. Bye-bye.